guys and welcome. Today's setup is looking a little bit different than you are used to. And that's because today I really wanted to bring you along for my morning routine, which means that it's very early in the morning. I did get up a lot earlier than I usually does in order to make this video for you, which also means that I do have to go to work. I didn't have the time to do the proper setup that I do every time I film for you. Right now I'm basically just on the floor with some of my terrariums here in the background. By morning routine I do mean that I want to show you what I do every single morning. I do check on my animals every day, I do it every morning when I get back home from work and it's the last thing I do before I go to bed. Usually I do it three times a day, of course there are some days when you're terrible, terrible busy and may not get to check on them in the morning or maybe you're doing something right after work or maybe you're just dead tired during the night and, and you basically just fell asleep on the couch. It's okay to do that sometimes but in general you should at least check on your animals at least once a day. I do like to do it three times a day and that is not just because that to check that they are healthy but in general I just really like being up here. But no more chit chat. We are very very busy so let's get to it. My morning routine. <laughs> The first thing I do up here in the reptile room is that I check that all the animals are doing well. After that I check for water and I check for poop. If there is a poop and I'm not in a hurry, I will clean the terrarium as the first thing because there's no reason for the snake to be in poop all day and waiting for me to get home to work. But the first thing I actually wanted to show you is how my door is looking here. As you can see that's a dead pool. I am a big dead pool fan. But I want to show you how it looks on the other side and I think it's really funny because I'm the one who thought of it. The first sign here says no noobs <laughs> and that's basically because we have a gamer room as well. Here we have uh, my signs, I think they're really funny. This is the cat who basically tore it apart but I think it fits. It says restricted area, dangerous reptiles, beware, spiders everywhere and caution I think snake habit, this area is home to snakes. Please take care when using the area. Of course, none of my snakes are that dangerous, none of my animals are, but it's just fun to mess with people, you know. The first one we're gonna meet this morning is uh, Barnaby. I recently moved Barnaby into this terrarium. I think he needed, she needed, sorry, I keep calling it uh, he, he needed more space. I actually just did it this morning, you guys just missed it, which is also the reason why he is missing some more hides and some more clutter. I will definitely be getting that because uh, as I've talked about before, Californian king snakes are very active. They do like to crawl around, all that kind of stuff. So I really think he needs something more. Also, Barnaby is missing water, so I'm gonna get, go get that. Oh, hey Barnaby, no, 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 you can't go out. No, you can't go out. Come on, I don't, don't have time for this. Get in there, get that in there. There we go, oh, sorry. I dumped him in the water. You may be wondering about this. Uh, you should never ever use this kind of tape inside the terrarium. There's been lots of accidents. But I use this on the outside because snakes are clever as hell and if they can get an opening they will go out. So this is just for extra safety. And here we have Alistair. He is already out and chilling. Alistair also needs a little bit of water. The rest of his terrarium is looking great. All right. Water for Alistair. Down here we have Artemis. Artemis did make a poop and he also needs some... No, he doesn't need water. Maybe a change. Anyway. He made a poop and he definitely needs to get his terrarium changed, but my knee is still hurting. I can't get down there, so that's the job for Timmy when he gets home. Moving on, in here we have Tisnelda. She's our water monitor. Currently you can't see her. She's hiding very, very well. She's still very, very young. Sometimes we do see her in the late afternoon and the beginnings of the evenings. Underneath all of this, Tisnelda has a big, big water bowl. Uh, it's so big that she can swim in it and I just filled it yesterday so there's no need to check this morning. Also, Tisnella has this kind of lock on her terrarium which is an excellent type of lock. I should really be using it on everyone instead of uh, tape. Makes absolutely sure that they can't, they, that they can't get out. You, re you need a key to open it. Alright, so Tisnella is looking great. In here, somewhere, there he is. This is Harry. There he is. This is Harry. Harry is my Chinese water dragon. I really, really love him. He has quite the attitude, as you can see. He's looking beautiful. I love, love his long tail. All right, Harry has this big, great terrarium that Timmy and I, we, we made it ourselves. I'm really proud of him. There he goes. 
All right, but Harry needs to have some water as well. This is what we use to mist the different terrariums. Pump, pump, pump it up. So this whole thing basically gets a really, really good misting. Down here we have some, I actually don't know, some kind of moss or sphagnum. I don't know if that's what you call it in English. Helps uh, very well with the humidity. It really, really does. Keeps the water very well. Off to the next one. In here we have our green tree boa. This is Asmodan and this is really one of Timmy's absolute babies. And I can really, really understand why I really, really love the colors of it. It's absolutely stunning, can't wait for it to grow. Asmodan as well needs high humidity, so he definitely needs to be misted two times, if not three times a day. The bottom of his terrarium is completely filled with this moss sphagnum thing, and also he has a big water bowl height right here in the middle. This is in order to keep the humidity up. It's very important. Funny thing about Asmodan is that during the day, he stays like, like you just saw him, he stays like that almost all of the day. Haven't yet seen him move. During nighttime, he will climb to actually this pole right over here and he will be so ready for feeding and the last time I fed him <laughs> it was uh, it was really it was quite the show I mean his jaws looks absolutely phenomenal while he's eating I am gonna do a video so you can get to know Asmodan a bit better all right that uh, was Asmodan <laughs> yeah this is just uh, I like to mess with people this is one of the skulls that you can use in your terrarium uh, but I, I really like having them, you know, so these are some of the old molds from the spiders and now I'm just making it look pretty much like a horror movie. And this is one of the feathers from, uh, from one of my mock, 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 one of my parrots. In here, you know him very, very well. This is Noel. I think he is home. It's right there. I'm not gonna disturb him, no need for that. Noel is in the shed right now, I can't wait to see. Usually just after the shed, he is so, so, so white. He's looking very, very gorgeous. Noel's water bowl looks fine, terrarium looks fine. I'm gonna say good for now. Down here is the toad. He also needs to be misted, let's do that quickly. Toad also has this sphagnum mass helping with the humidity. And in here my tarantula, it's a bit difficult to see. Um, the reflection it may be a bit annoying. Uh, this sign is wrong by the way, it's not an uh, Aponopalma calcotis. It was before, it's not in water. All right, in here and there. Everyone seems to be doing very well, indeed. Water balls still have water. The one thing you will know if you've ever had a tarantula is that you fill the water bowl and 30 seconds after the water bowl is empty, all filled with dirt. I fill it once every day and I fill it at night because they are more active during the night. All right, this is my golden girl. I moved her to another terrarium. This one is uh, a little bit smaller than the one she is used to. I'm gonna do a video on that. There is a very specific reason why I've done what I've done. I just changed her terrarium as well with fresh water, so she's looking good. All right, in here, my little ghost. All right, water looking good, terrarium. I did change it yesterday, I believe because he uh, pooped in the water, and that's pretty gross. All right, in here we have Pearl. Pearl's well is looking absolutely great. This is my Pebble Passion Rowena. She's looking a bit messy, but she's looking overall good. And of course, we need to look uh, on how Belette is doing. My beautiful girl, she's looking really, really good. You guys wanna see her eat? I do, hang on. Are you ready? <laughs> um, nom 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 nom. Oh damn. Well done, Bolet. Yeah, she has it in her face. <clears throat> well, I I think that was today's very quick routine. Basically what I do every day, I check if the animal is alive and well. I check for water, I check for poop. If I have the time, I will change it right away. That's what I do in the morning. Usually I'm very, very busy in the morning because I am not that good at getting up early. So today I did have some extra time, which you could clearly see. Usually this doesn't take more than a few minutes. It's very, very quick. It's just up, look, 
uh, do what you can and then back down and off to work. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this morning routine. I hope it helped giving you an idea of what my day-to-day -day caretaking is with all of these animals. I do have quite a lot. I have, I believe, around 18 snakes right now. And besides that, of course, I have water monitor and I have my Chinese water dragon. I have my toad as well. I have two parrots and a cat and I have all my rats and mice. So I do have a lot of animals. And the questions that I often get is how on earth do you manage? How do you find your time to do this? And basically the simplest answer is that I really enjoy it. I enjoy taking care of my animals. So for me, it's not a duty. It's not something that I just need to do like doing the dishes. I really hate that. Uh, I really do enjoy it. It's I relax when I'm doing it. So that might be the reason why this works so well for me. Thank you guys so much. My channel is still really booming. I'm so thankful and I really do enjoy speaking with you guys. It's just, it's amazing and I've made so many new friends. A lot of you have been writing me in private as well and I love that. Please keep on doing it. I absolutely love it. Please give the video a like so I know that you like what I make. It really does mean a lot to me. If you have any comments or questions, don't forget to put them right down below in the comment section. Also, while you're at it, please hit subscribe to my channel. As usual, you can find me on Instagram under the name Jesus Jungle. Thank you for now and bye bye.